Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the YouTube channel. Today we've got a little transfer round of Burnley have been ridiculously busy so far this window with Scott Twine and Luke McAnally already over the line. Looks like Burnley are set to announce Manchester City defensive duo Taylor Harwood Bellis who will join on a loan deal on top of CJ Egan Riley, who will join who will join on a permanent, which is about 750k. It looks like it's going to be overall with add-ons included, uh, which will should be announced any time now. His contract with City will end tomorrow, so it seems like the money's more of a compensation type thing, just so that no one else comes in, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, it's it's decent business. After we did pull out the Dan Bollard deal from Arsenal which would have been 2 million. So Luke McAnally and CJ Egan Riley for relatively the same price is probably a bit better. Continuing business. with incomings, it looks like Jackson Muleka could be coming in for 4 million pounds. However, Besiktas are also chasing who, him, who seem to be chasing every single player that Burnley want at the moment, including Vud Veghorst, who I'm sure most years do not want. Muleka played 14 games, I think it is, last season, score, uh, contributing to about 16 goals slash assists. Which, you know, no matter what league that in, that is, de it's decent stuff, in it? Just to go back to the Man City lads, it looks like Stefan Ormurich could be coming in to replace Nick Pope, who, as we all know, sadly went to Newcastle for £10 million uh, with add-ons that could rise to 15 if you didn't already know that. Um, but it looks like Stefan could be on his way to Middlesbrough, who are looking at a loan deal but Burnley are set to go in for Murich on a permanent, possibly according to Alan Nixon. But we shall see. I'm not really too bothered if we do sign another keeper because we do have BPF, um, Wayne, Hennessy and Norris already. Three solid keepers. I do think Hennessy or Bailey Peacock. Farrell could both do shifts in the championship. Just to link back to what I said about Vud Veghorst and Besiktas, it looks like Veghorst is going to leave on a loan with an option to be permanent for £8 million. However, it is not likely that Besiktas will trigger this option. Uh, the known for signing lots of players on loan and then not triggering their mandatory buying option. That is always in the contract. It's not mandatory, but it's mandatory to be in the contract. I don't know what I said. Sorry, guys. Um, so it looks like Besiktas will leave. Um, Vud Vekos will leave Burnley. He has said he is too big for the championship. Don't know if that's his ego or him, but he said he will not play in the championship. So we'll see how Burnley can recruit to get in someone better or just to replace him. Next up, we've got some midfield outgoings that could be potentially happening at Burnley. West Ham uh, West Ham and Southampton seem to be sniffing around Josh Brownhill. However, Burnley are set to value Josh at around £20 million. He's seen as a future captain at Burnley and will not be leaving for any less than 15 million, but 20 million is the current asking price. But if he is to go, a replacement on the list are the likes of Josh Cullen from Anderlecht, who was with company, and Smallbone from Southampton, who could be leaving on a loan deal this summer. However, Burnley would look to push it on a permanent. Another bit of not so good news is Nathan Collins. His name is on the minds of so many Premier League clubs at the moment. It looks like Wolves and Leicester are the main ones that are sniffing around. However, Burnley are expected to offer to ask for anywhere between 30 and 40 million, which I can't imagine is going to be going to be matched with Wolves already spending big on a midfielder this summer. Can't see them spending another 40 million on the Irish international Nathan Collins. However, if a big big comes in, he will leave. Uh, but I, just, I really can't see it. Burnley are in no hurry to sell. They don't need to sell and they are desperate to hang on to Collins. He's obviously such a big prospect. He's still a season last season. Was absolutely outrageous. On a positive note, there's nothing came in for Maxwell Corney yet. However, you can imagine that if he is to go, he will go later in the window because of that release clause. I can see Newcastle, honestly, I can see Newcastle coming in for it. If the deal with Moussa Diaby does not go through, I can see them coming back, going for him. 18 million, around about that. It'll be done fairly quickly. And he's obviously a great, great player. However, Corny looks like he wants to stay at Burnley. He was in tears um, in the, at the uh, end of last season. And I feel like it could possibly be between his career and his heart. And which one do you pick? It's it's really going to be really hard. But we shall see. If he stays, he's going to rip the championship. Thank you.